welcome to the Joycast. My name is Tamika and my dog and I have just got back from a trip that took us through the Tennessee mountains, which is always a special treat. Sometimes it's nice to stay in Tennessee, uh, but often we find that we are traveling through. So it's like a rite of passage. Everything today, all the choices in the Joycast are about rites of passage for you. So your choices today are mountain, moon, or mist. That's mountain, moon, or mist. Just see which one popped out at you first. So if you chose mountain, we know that the mountain is unmovable and majestic and solid and grounded. And that's a special symbol for you right now. My feeling is that this is related to some kind of rite of passage for you that you have been considering taking. Something more specific that you're worried, is this solid? Is this the right thing for me at this time? And the answer is, if you chose mountain, if you know what I'm talking about, is that it absolutely is right for you at this time. It may be that it's a new position at work, a new direction personally or in your career, or some kind of course that you are considering taking on. And if fear is what's holding you back from taking that course of action, then that's not a great reason not to do it. So it may be that you have a lack of confidence in some area. It may be that you're worried about finances or worried that you won't have enough time or do it well enough. Um, but the answer here is if you have this thing that you really want to move toward, that it is solid. So it's almost like the symbol of the mountain is that like there's been a spiritual summit on the top of the mountain to say that this is the right thing for you. This is in divine order. There's a little message for you about that thing that you've been contemplating. Don't let fear get in the way. If you chose moon, the message for you is all about creativity and your creativity is your rite of passage. There is some sort of art form that you participate in or that you are good at, and I don't know what your particular art is. It may be associated with your work, but it may not be associated with your work at all. It's what brings you into flow where you can forget about all the details and just be into a place of flow. Usually that's our art. And if you are in a place of cre whatever you're creating right now, um, you may find that it stop, start, stop, start, and that you're not in a full st steady stream of creation because of other things coming in, maybe even interfering in the process. But just know that um, all you have to do is when you're feeling creative, is go with the flow. When you're not feeling creative, don't beat yourself up. Don't feel like you're never going to get it done. Don't feel like you're never going to come back to it. It's always going to be there for you. But it's this ebb and flow. It's the two sides of the coin. It's the sun, it's the moon. In this case, it's the moon. Um, but your creativity is really the thing here that is the rite of passage for you because um, your next things coming up on the horizon are all going to be based on you using your gifts, your creativity, because you're a very creative person. So if you chose mist, your um, rite of passage is in that betwixt and between place. So you know when it's misty or when it's foggy and you can't really see the outcome, you don't know what's coming next and that can be frightening. If you think about driving on a road where there's a lot of fog and you know the road is ahead of you but you can't see it, that can be very unnerving for anyone. Um, but it's the faith in that you know the road is still there, you know it's ahead of you even though you can't see it. And this situation that you're in in your life calls for that kind of faith and trust right now. So it's asking you to remember that the path ahead is going to be fine. And also to get comfortable with the unknown. Get comfortable without fast forwarding to the next thing, without being able to predict everything, without being able to um, make it all perfect. So on our walk here as human beings, Things are revealed and things are concealed. And sometimes we turn to the psychic world or channelers or our own intuition to try to figure it all out. And thats it's really important to turn to our own intuition because that's clear knowing in that place. However, even the most gifted psychic in on the planet that's predicted many, many things uh, still has things re concealed from them because that's part of the journey here 
things are revealed and things are concealed for all of us. So have faith and trust in what's coming next because even though it might be a confusing time for you, it's not going to stay this way. It just Thank you for joining me on the Joycast. It's been a pleasure. We have a couple of events coming up in the near future. We have the yoga show and conference that we're presenting children's yoga at. That should be lots of fun. So check that out online. And also we have our Barefoot Bliss Retreat. We only have a few spaces left in that. It's going to be wonderful. We're super excited about going back to Costa Rica. So check that out if you're interested. And But most importantly, just have a wonderful